Hello, today we'll look at a historic work. This little book, titled Foundations of the Theory of Probability, written by the great Soviet mathematician, written by the great Soviet mathematician Andrei Nikolaevich Kolmogorov. In this fundamental work, Kolmogorov set out the fundamental axioms for modern probability theory. Of course, probability theory existed way before Kolmogorov. It was Descartes and Pascal who invented the subject in order to analyze mathematical problems associated with gambling. Further development was then made by the Bernoullis and Laplace, including the celebrated central limit theorem, which is the theoretical foundation of much of the statistical methods used today. But before Kolmogorov, probability theory, or the doctrine of chance, um, was not considered rigorous. It is rather a miscellaneous collection of various applications of combinatorics and calculus. What Kolmogorov did to probability theory is very much similar to what Euclid did to geometry. Kolmogorov selected a handful of axioms and deduced the major results of probability theory at that time based on those axioms. Um, as we saw earlier, this book is quite short, and in fact, not including bibliography, it is only 70 pages thick. The intended audience of this book were professional mathematicians who have advanced backgrounds in real analysis. Nowadays, axiomatic probability theory is usually taught in senior undergraduate or beginning graduate years. For example, this is a popular modern textbook called Probability with Martingales by David Williams. It is still rather concise, just over 200 pages, but it is much more spelled out, so to say, compared to Kolmogorov's original work. And William's book does not assume advanced background in real analysis. We will not look at William's book in detail for this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a review of William's book. According to the editor's note written by the translator, this work by Kolmogorov was originally written in German. I presume it was because that Germany was at the time the center of mathematical research. And perhaps uh, the other reason that Kolmogorov chose to write in German rather than his original Russian, because the original objective to axiomatize probability theory is part of the attempt to solve one of the Hilbert's problem, Hilbert's sixth problem on the mathematical foundations of physics, in particular statistical physics. Here, this is the original preface written by Kolmogorov. The purpose of this monograph is to give an axiomatic foundation for the theory of probability. The author set himself the task of putting in their natural place, among the general notions of modern mathematics, the basic concepts of probability theory, concepts which until recently were considered quite peculiar. And the next sentence is perhaps the most important one of this preface. This task would have been a rather hopeless one before the introduction of Lebesgue's theory of measure integration. And indeed, Lebesgue's theory of measure integration is now the framework and language of modern probability theory. So much so that it seems like modern probability theory is just a sub-branch of Lebesgue's theory of measure integration. And that is not completely true, because probability theory still have its own unique objectives and notions that has no equivalence in measure theory. So this is the content. The first chapter is called the Elementary Theory of Probability. Kolmogorov refers to random experiments that only has a finite set of outcomes. And then we have infinite probability field. Um, this is where the abstract theory of measure and integration started to exhibit its power. And the third chapter talks about random variables. Probability functions, definition of random variables and distribution functions, multidimensional distribution functions, and so on. Mathematical expectation. This is the general notion of average in probability theory. Here, as you can see, mathematical expectation is defined as Lebesgue integrals. Compared to Riemann integrals that is typically taught in a first year calculus course, um, the Lebesgue's approach of defining integrals turns out to be much more flexible and is therefore adopted into probability theory. And from this definition of expectations, we have the Chebyshev's inequality known in elementary probability theory, some technical topics, criteria for convergence, 
differentiation and integration of mathematical expectation with respect to a parameter. So this is a common question studied in analysis about interchanging the orders of limiting operations. Chapter 5 is about conditional probabilities and mathematical expectations. And this is another highlight of Kolmogorov theory, because prior to the advent of Lebesgue theory of measure integration, it was a conundrum to define conditional probabilities and expectations rigorously. Conditional expectations are defined using the notion of Radon-Nicodium derivatives from measure theory. And the last chapter, Independence, the law of large numbers, is the culmination of this work. So the first five chapters can be seen as motivation and definitions. Komogorov showed that the classical result of probability theory can now be deduced from those axioms. This is a remarkable achievement. Even though the law of large numbers was a long well-known result, the axiomatic foundations Komogorov laid out allows us to apply these classical results in a much more general setting. And the clarity of foundations allows for generalization of these classical results. Um, I would like to remark that because this work was published in 1930s, the notations in set theory are not yet standardized. For example, the intersection of two sets, A and B, is simply written as AB. Uh, there's no modern symbol of intersection, you know, the upside down big U. And also at the time, there was no special symbol for the empty set yet. So the empty set is just denoted as zero. And in number four, we have this plus with a dot on top notation. This stands for union. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. Definitely, this is not a book for light reading. Um, but as Abel once said, the best way to make progress in mathematics is to learn from the masters. And Kolmogorov, without a doubt, one of the masters of the 20th century. His contribution to 20th century mathematics in general is immeasurable. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.